In 2000, The Economist labeled Africa the hopeless continent. Their timing was wrong. After three decades of poor economic growth, African countries were about to experience a much more optimistic decade. One reason is that many countries adopted sound macroeconomic policies in the decade before. Another was strong commodity prices. When The Economist published a correction in December 2011, they said, Africa could be on the brink of an economic takeoff. But many fear that such a takeoff is not possible unless Africa industrializes. Many countries on the continent still have relatively small manufacturing sectors. As Johanfrey argues in Our Long Walk to Economic Freedom, technological innovation now allows African countries to shift directly into service exports. If innovation and competition is allowed to flourish, Africans can be more optimistic of future growth and better standards of living.